what's going on guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video i just want to give a quick recap on how my portfolio is doing since creating it one week ago today so far this portfolio consists of seven different companies i picked these seven companies because they're all blue chip stocks and they all come from diversified portfolio sectors i have one share of apple which is in the tech sector 21 shares of bank of america which is in the financial sector 16 shares of coca-cola which is consumer staple three shares of johnson and johnson which is in the healthcare sector one share of jp morgan and chase which is again in the financial sector three shares of waste management which is in the utility sector and two shares of 3M, which is in the industrial sector. So as you can see, I have the summary tab of my spreadsheet broken down into capital gains on the left, dividends on the right, and then I have a totals column on the far right, combining the both of those. In column E, we have the average price I paid per share. So to get the average price you paid per share, you will need to add up all the, the share prices that you have paid in total for that share and then you need to divide it by the number of shares you bought column f we have the market price per share in order to get the market price updated on a real-time basis we can put in a formula so for example for the apple stock in column f you put equals google finance open bracket then you will click the symbol for apple in column b4 close bracket and enter Column G will be your cost basis. To get this figure, you will need to multiply the number of shares you have in column D by the average cost you paid per share in column E, plus any transaction costs from your broker. Column H will have your total market value per company. So this will simply be the number of shares you have in that company multiplied by the current market price in column F will give you your total market value. In column I, the share price gain or loss, this is simply taking column H, so the market value, minus column G, which is the cost basis, will give your overall profit or loss for that stock. Column J will give you your stock growth or loss in a, as a percentage. So this is simply H, so market value, divided by column G, cost basis, minus one, and then you can format it into percentage. You can see at the bottom of column I, in the highlighted cell, is the total profit we have made this week. Column K is the first of our dividends columns. So to get the company's annual dividend, you can go on to such sites as Yahoo Finance or Dividend.com. Once you have inputted the annual dividend amounts, you can then get column L's dividend yield percentage. This formula is simply K4, so for Apple, it will be the total dividend in dollars, the 328, divided by column F, the, the current market price, which will give you your dividend yield as a percentage. In column M, your annual income, which will be your total number of shares in column D, multiplied by column K, which will be your annual dividend per stock. So that will give you your annual income in total per in dollar form. I then inserted three grows, monthly, quarterly, and yearly dividend amounts to see how much I get on a monthly, quarterly, and yearly basis. Obviously, as I'm only one week into this portfolio, Portfolio. These figures are quite small, but over time, in the next year or so, I hope to really increase these figures. In column H is my total dividend payout to date. I have this column formulated in with my dividends calendar tab. And in column O, which is the most important column of all, your total gains and loss when you incorporate your capital gains and your dividends. So this is simply adding column I, so your total share gain or loss, plus your total dividend payout in column N. And finally, in cell B2, you can see your total stock gain and loss plus your total dividends divided by your total cost factor, which will give you your net profit or loss percentage for your portfolio. At the time of recording this video, my stock portfolio is up 4.5% which I'm very happy with seeing as it's only my first week. Obviously, as this is a long-term portfolio, I will continuously be adding money in on a monthly basis and also reinvesting my dividends. And over time, once I reinvest the dividends, which will create more dividends and I'll have a compounding effect, as well as the portfolio's capital gain. The main objective of this portfolio in the coming years is to be able to generate enough capital gain and dividends to be able to quit my nine to five job. So with that being said, I'd love to know if you guys have your own dividend portfolio tracker spreadsheet. And I'd love to know if you also have dividend growth investment portfolios with the hope of one day down the line being able to quit your nine to five job and live off your portfolio. Thanks very much for watching guys and I'd be really appreciative if you could smash that subscribe button. Thanks again and I will see you guys in the next video.